Want to hear about how I became a full-time artist? I started painting almost exactly five years ago in January of 2018. And uh, I was just coming out of school. I was 21 years old at the time. Um, I had a degree in filmmaking and creative writing, which were two things that I used to feel really passionate about. But I think because I went to school for them, a lot of the joy got sucked out of it. Um, I feel like uh, it became too technical. And so I really didn't have any desire to pursue filmmaking or writing when I left school. But I also still had a really, really strong urge to be creative. And so I basically decided to just start drawing. At the time I was working as a busboy at two different restaurants, but in my free time, I started making handmade sketchbooks and just filling them with drawings and little like experiments with different kinds of paint. And I mean, the moment that I picked it up, I immediately fell in love with it. Like it was something that just, felt so right as soon as I started. And so I just became obsessed and I spent basically all of my free time just painting and drawing. But I also wasn't very good at it. And I had no actual training. I didn't go to art school and the idea of being able to paint full time seemed like pretty much impossible. I don't even think it was like something that I considered in the back of my head at that point in time because I had friends who had gone to art school um, and I knew of people who, you know, had spent 10, 15, 20 years of their lives like learning this craft in a much more professional way than I had and they couldn't even make it. And so the idea of doing it as a career was not at all in the cards for me and it wasn't even something that I wanted necessarily. Um, and I think in a way that was actually a really positive thing um, because it meant that I didn't put any kind of pressure or expectation on myself when I was starting out and learning how to paint. It really was all about the joy and all about kind of the sake of learning. And because of that, I got to fail and make tons of mistakes and experiment for pretty much four years without any kind of idea in my mind that I had to be at a certain level or that I had to be doing this in order to support myself and make money. And that freedom to just do it for the sake of doing it really allowed me to learn at a pretty fast pace and also make sure that the reason that I loved this thing was not because I saw it as an opportunity or a means to an end, but because I really genuinely loved it. And it was like the process of doing it that brought me fulfillment. I'm planning on going a little bit more in depth into kind of the start of my painting journey uh, in the very near future in another video. Um, but for the time being, I just wanted to touch on that element of when I started painting and the fact that I had no expectations or no idea of myself becoming a full-time artist because I think it was an important part of the process for me. Fast forward a few years to November of 2021, which is just over a year ago. Um, and this is kind of the first inflection point for me, at least when I reflect back on my journey as an artist. I was working a full-time job and I was really unhappy there. Um, I did not feel fulfilled by it. And I knew for a while that I wanted to make a change. Um, I had actually already put in my notice and was planning to leave my job in December. And the idea was that I was going to take a teaching course and become a teacher because that's something that's always been interesting to me. Um, something I've always kind of thought in the back of my mind I might end up pursuing. Um, so I had that lined up um, for the next few months of my life. But I was also in this state of mind where I was really, really unsure about what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. And I think it just kind of like, I was a very open, vulnerable um, headspace to be in. And even at that point in time, the idea of painting full time was not at all feasible to me. But because I was in this headspace of being uncertain about what I wanted to do next, um, I think I used painting as a way to process a lot of those emotions. And so I basically just like, poured a lot more energy into it than I had been for the months leading up to November of last year. Um, and really just was like using it as an escape in a lot of ways, but also just like a place to find comfort and peace and balance in a time in my life when I felt like a lot was up in the air, there were a lot of question marks. And I don't know if I can pinpoint exactly why or how this happened, but during November and December of last year, I started to paint in a totally new way. And for the first time in my life, I felt like the paintings that I were making were 
my own style. Like I had stumbled into a mode of expression that really felt uniquely my own. And that was really, really exciting. And I think it was kind of the first step towards me being able to feel like I could pursue art full time, even though I still wasn't thinking of that as an option for myself. Now that I think back on it, I wonder if the reason I came into that style at that point in time was because I was finally making this decision in my life to leave a job that I hadn't been happy at for a long time and also kind of realizing that I wasn't the kind of person who wanted to work in a traditional work environment, that it didn't suit me and it wasn't something that I um, necessarily could put up with um, for better or for worse. So I had a sense of excitement and nervousness about kind of taking this next step in my life and trying to do something that was a little bit more meaningful and fulfilling to me. And in the process of waiting to take this teaching course and kind of finishing up the last few months of my job, I just poured a lot of energy into painting. And because of that excitement, I wonder if maybe that was fueling this new form of expression that I had um, kind of found uh, un unconsciously. Either way, I basically stopped using reference images at this point in time and I just went back to painting from imagination, which was something that I had kind of experimented with at several points over the past five years, but was always something that I'd never felt confident or comfortable enough to really dive headfirst into. Um, but for some reason, when I did it this time, it just clicked and it kind of made sense to me. Um, so I was doing a lot of work purely from imagination and also starting to to kind of tell stories in my paintings or like create scenes that had some depth beyond just being like a specific image. And it felt in a way like the four years I had spent just like failing and experimenting were all kind of finally paying off. Like all of that practice I had done was finally coming together in a form that was recognizable as like my own style. Um, and that was really, really exciting to me. And because I was so excited by it, I started sharing more of my paintings on social media, um, which was something I had not really use that often. Like I had an Instagram account that I opened in 2019 that I was posting photos on, you know, every once in a while whenever I had a painting that I completed, but it had, you know, 70 followers. It was just my friends, like people who were close to me who were looking at it. And it wasn't something that I was putting a lot of energy into. But at this point in time, in November and December of last year, I started really posting a lot more. Um, and I started getting a lot of positive feedback and that validation was something that I think was also good for me. Like it, uh, as much as I really like to be motivated by my own sense of fulfillment, it's also a really nice feeling to know that people like what you're doing. Um, so that felt really positive. And then on top of that, in December, someone wrote to me and asked if they could buy a painting from me. And this was something I had never done before. I'd never sold a painting. I'd given a lot of them away to people, but I'd never actually sold something to someone. And honestly, it wasn't even something I was considering. I still had no uh, sense that I wanted to pursue art full time. It really was just this kind of two month period where I was pouring a lot of energy into it, but really doing it just for my own sense of catharsis. When somebody said, hey, I wanna buy a painting, it totally shifted my perspective. Like it opened my eyes and made me go, oh wait, like maybe I can do this. Like, is this what I really wanna be doing? Is this what I wanna put my energy into? Um, so that was a huge moment for me. It was just having that first person say, hey, can I buy this from you? I would love to have this painting um, and give you money for it. So I sold that painting and then I kept making more paintings. Someone else wrote to me and wanted to buy a painting. And then in January, while I was taking this teaching course, um, I was contacted by a gallery that wanted to include some of my work in a group show that they were doing. And I mean, you know, there were 60, 70 artists in this show, um, but it still was an amazing opportunity for me. And it was really, really exciting to know that there was some kind of, you know, like official institution um, or people who are a little bit more involved in the art world who were even remotely interested in something that I had painted. And obviously that was like pure luck, right? Like I, 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 definitely credit that to me being very fortunate and lucky, but it was that little extra bit of confidence um, that I think also fueled my uh, sense that I wanted to keep pursuing this. And as soon as I finished this teaching course that I was doing, I just poured 
all of my energy into painting. Like 12 hours a day, seven days a week, not seeing my friends, really holed up in my tiny studio apartment, just painting constantly. I had loved this thing for so many years and I had never even imagined that it would be possible for me to do it full time. But the moment that I got even the sliver of an opportunity, I just seized it. I felt like I had to, I had no other choice. And it wasn't even conscious necessarily. Like it was very, very instinctual. I can think back on it now and kind of reflect on why I made that decision or how I was able to. But at the time it just, I just did it. Like it just felt like the right thing to do. And obviously I had no control over how long it would last, um, whether or not people would keep buying my paintings, whether I'd get more opportunities, uh, but I could control how hard I worked. And so that's what I did. I just worked as hard as humanly possible, like harder than I've ever worked in my entire life because I felt like that was the one element of it that I had some kind of control over. And if this had any chance of actually working long-term, then I had to make make sure that I put as much energy into it as possible. And I also felt this fearlessness that allowed me to dive into this absurd and like totally impractical decision head first without any guarantees. If I had thought about how difficult it was going to be to really make a living selling paintings, um, how inconsistent it was, how stressful it might be to not know when my next paycheck was coming, how the attention and opportunities I was getting might just be a fluke and I was like totally deluding myself. If I had taken even a moment to think about any of that, I don't think I would have made the leap. And now reflecting back on it, I think that honestly was the crucial thing. That was the biggest thing that allowed me to make this transition into painting full time. Obviously there were a lot of other elements involved, but that lack of fear and that kind of sense of determination and almost delusion you could say was really the one thing that allowed me to make that change in my life and totally go 100% into it. I mean I had spent four years painting in every free chance that I had um, and dreaming of being able to do it more often not necessarily make a living out of it but just wanting to be able to paint as often as possible but I always told myself that it was not possible because of all of those same reasons. But then there was this kind of a combination of good timing in the sense that I didn't have a job and I had a little bit of money saved up, plus a lot of luck in terms of getting an opportunity to exhibit work, sell a couple paintings, get two commissions very early on in the process. Um, and then also all of those years of preparation and practice finally paying off. And all of those things combined, I think allowed me to kind of ignore the fear of doing something as impractical and maybe uh, difficult as pursuing painting full time. I think I probably realized, not consciously, but um, I realized that there was this little window of opportunity that I had stumbled into that was kind of a perfect storm of many things. And that window might not ever come again. And so I had to make the most of it. I had no other choice in a way because if I hadn't taken that opportunity, I think I really would have regretted it. And I, even though none of this was happening consciously in my mind, it was very instinctual. Um, I felt like I had to at least try to turn this thing that I loved so much into a bigger part of my life. And for the first few months of me painting full time, I was really living very much moment to moment. And I think that was also a really helpful thing actually. Um, I essentially thought of what I was doing as buying myself time to paint. That's it. That's the only thing that I had in the back of my mind. And so I would sell a painting and say to myself, okay, I made enough money to be able to paint for another week and a half or another two weeks or whatever it was. And so I would then pour all of my time into painting during those two weeks, make more work, maybe sell another one and say, okay, now I can paint for another week or another two weeks. Or maybe someone would ask me for a commission and I would say, okay, I can do this commission and now I have another two weeks to be able to paint. And it really was just taking it day by day, week by week, buying myself time to keep doing this thing that I loved and wanted to get better at. And beyond that, I mean, I really was not thinking about it. I was not thinking about what happens if 
nobody wants to buy a painting? What happens if I don't have any commissions coming up? If I don't have any exhibitions coming up? What happens if I run out of money and I don't know how to pay my rent? Like those things literally never crossed my mind, which is crazy to think about, but I think it was also essential because like I needed to be able to ignore those fears in order to feel the drive and the motivation to keep pursuing this. I had to have as much confidence in myself as possible in order for this to even have a shot of working. And so much of that came from me letting go of these inhibitions and worries that I naturally would have and just allowing myself to really, really uh, focus entirely on what I was doing every single day in the moment. And now it's been almost a year and I'm still making it work, which is amazing to me. I am so, so grateful. I'm still honestly surprised. Uh, like there are moments when I think about it and can't believe that it's still working, but it is. And I really try and approach that with as much gratitude as possible. Things are obviously a little bit different now because I've been doing it for a year and I feel like I've built a little bit of momentum. Um, I have a bigger audience. Uh, I've also done a lot of experiments with social media and marketing and seeing what works for me, what doesn't work for me. Um, I have a lot more experience trying to brand myself, pricing my work, how to collaborate with people, um, how to set up shows, make sure that my paintings can be seen by people in real life as well. And I also spent an entire year pretty much doing nothing but painting, which means that I've gotten better too. And my style has changed and evolved. I've explored new ideas. I'm learning a lot every single day because I'm doing it so frequently. And so that's also helped me be able to feel like I have more of a base and it's a little bit less terrifying to be doing this full time. But I've also been through some really tough months where I wasn't selling work, I didn't have commissions lined up and I basically had no money and I did not know how to pay my rent. And those circumstances were also really good learning opportunities for me because they made me get creative. They made me rethink how I make money out of uh, pursuing painting and uh, doing something that I really feel passionate about. And in a lot of ways, those like tough times also really like drove me to try even harder and realize that like this is not a guarantee even if you have like a little bit of success at one point in time like it's always going to be a constant drive and there's never going to be like the same kind of stability that you would get from like a nine to five job and so you have to always be innovating and being creative and working as hard as you can and so I learned a lot from that but I think also what has helped me be able to sustain this is that through it all I have never let go of the initial reason why I fell in love with painting, which is because I just love the act of doing it. It has nothing to do with selling work or being recognized or uh, having other people validate what I do. And it has everything to do with the fact that I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. It is the most fulfilling and joyful thing that I've ever done in my life. And I'm so, so happy that I spent those first four years not even thinking about monetizing this or doing this in any capacity outside of just doing it for myself. Because that feeling is so deep that I don't think it will ever go away. If you like my videos or my paintings or anything else that I'm doing, then please go and check out my Patreon page. I upload tons of behind the scenes content there, including um, sketches and progress photos from paintings, short video updates from the studio. I also offer discounts um, and give people the opportunity to help me decide what kinds of videos I make next, what subjects I cover. Um, I have lots of plans for patron exclusive content that I'm hoping to roll out in the next few months. Um, so please please go and check it out. Even a small amount is a huge help to me and it's a great way to stay connected and help me try and build a community around this thing that I love so much. Okay.